Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. My name is Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be doing a more simplified version of a video that we covered in the past on a medication called Resuvastatin or Crestor. And we're starting right now. Just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only. So the first thing to discuss about this medication is really what this medication is used to treat. So resuvastatin can lower cholesterol and triglycerides and can actually help increase HDL or good cholesterol. It may reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke and other related medical conditions. And in terms of a classification, resuvastatin is classified as a statin. I'll now discuss how to use resuvastatin. So first off, your prescriber, your physician, will dictate how much of this medication to use on a daily basis. It's important not to use more than directed by your physician. It's also important to note that when you're first starting this medication, your dose may have to change several times to find what works best for you. Also, aside from the medication, it's important to follow your physician's instructions regarding diet to help lower your cholesterol to assist with the medication. When you're prescribed the regular tablets, it's important to swallow them whole. Do not crush, break, or chew it. If you're using the capsule, you can swallow the capsule whole, or if you have trouble swallowing the capsule, you can actually open it up and sprinkle the contents of one capsule onto a soft food like applesauce or pudding. If you choose to do it this way, just don't save any of the mixture for later. You would have to ingest it right away. Now what happens if you miss a dose of resuvastatin or Crestor? So you'd want to take a dose as soon as you remember, but if it's almost time for your next dose, you would skip the missed dose and just take a, the next regular dose. And never take extra medication to make up for a missed dose with resuvastatin. We'll now discuss some warnings associated with resuvastatin. So the first one would be that this medication is not safe to be used during pregnancy, so you'd want to get in touch with your physician right away if you do become pregnant, and also make sure that you're using an effective form of birth control while using resuvastatin. And on a similar note, it's also important not to breastfeed while you're using Crestor as well. It's important to tell your doctor if you have kidney disease, diabetes, or thyroid problems, as well as low blood pressure, sepsis, or electrolyte imbalances. Also let your physician know if you have muscle pain or weakness, or a history of seizures. It's important to note that this medication may cause severe muscle problems or liver problems. And it's important to note that you should make sure that you tell any physician or dentist that you're using this medication because you may have to stop this medication before a surgery, for example, or before medical lab tests. Your doctor will do regular lab tests at regular visits, so be sure to keep all your appointments so you really get a good idea of how the medication is working for you and you're tracked properly. Now, as with all medications, you may experience some side effects while using resuvastatin. So there are a few that I'm going to mention here that if you were to experience them, you would just want to go see your physician or get in touch with your physician right away. So the first one would be if you had an allergic reaction, which could present as itching or hives or swelling in your uh, throat or in your hands. It could also manifest as chest tightness or trouble breathing. You should reach out to a physician if there's a change in how much or how frequently you urinate or if your urine is cloudy or bloody. If you have dark urine or pale stools with nausea and vomiting and a loss of appetite, you would want to reach out to a physician. If you experience muscle pain, tenderness or weakness, or swelling in your hands, ankles or feet. And finally, you would reach out to a physician if you had unusual tiredness or weakness. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today in this quick video talking about resuvastatin or Crestor. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to combine and watch my videos. If you found this information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And there's also some links in the description you can check out as well. So for today, take care.